Hey, Naja. Did too hard, bruh. Oh, I got this. This is easy. Can I start it off? It's on you. I just want to say this. I just want to say this. I'm trying to like run through first dates in my head. What's I'm up? an expert. What's up? Talk to me. I'm going I'm, I'm to feed off you today. <laughs> Let me feed off Terry today. Let's see if so first dates for me, I feel like it could either go left or it could go right. It could be fun. It could be horrible. It could be okay. Um, but I kind of like first dates just to see like that's like your intro. You know right. what I mean? Like with guys. So. I kind of like them, but I'm only on a, on a date with you if I feel like I want to be with you. You know, like if you got like potential. I don't think okay. I like, I've never been on a date with somebody that I'm like, mm, or you ain't this, or you not cute, or you know. First date etiquette, do not be possessive. <laughs> Bitch, because I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. On the first date? On the first date. Because like a lot of times on the first date, I done seen some of y'all women. Uh, y'all a little too possessive. It's the first date. What you mean? Don't order anything bigger than your your head. <laughs> but that's more so of the woman doing it than the guy. Yeah, well, yeah, etiquette. Is, I, I can only give etiquette for, for you know women. what I mean? You're right. Yeah. You're right. Oh, you can still do men too, though. Things that you looking for, I mean. Right. As a man, you set the tone that first time. Because it's like first time for everything, like what they say, so. Like, what you do on that date, like, the pick, I feel like how you gonna either treat her or how she gonna treat you in the sense of, like, how you view that person. Like, motherfuckers just out here going on dates just to get something out of it. But most people ain't gonna have out here on dates, excuse me, till I actually get to know people. So, I feel like as long as you're doing the right thing as far as like if you're a man like i said opening the door just that's just shivery so you don't mm -hmm. actually give a fuck um definitely pay for the food or whatever activity you do because you know necessarily got to be a movie or you know what i'm saying bowling yeah. or food or some shit like that it can be something like, real simple you know i done took somebody rock climbing before first oh, that's, day, so that would be fun that would be a fun you first day yeah also how do you determine like before the first day like that you want to be with them um i got the conversation you, you know, could tell just one conversation? Like, really? or you know, like, if you text me, because most time if okay. you go on the first date, like, you text me, you on the phone, yeah, you find okay. FaceTime, and then we're going to take it to the next level, which For is, sure. like, our date. For sure. You know? Oh, man, this is perfect. Oh, my God. I met this Dominican Possessive. chick. I met this Dominican chick at Ikea. Bad. Very bad. They crazy, though. Yeah, they are crazy. Very cute woman. Very cute. We hanging out. Blah, 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 blah. It's a little late. Another chick called me. Oh, I don't understand why she calling you at this time of night. Uh, and this is our first date? We just kicking like, it. This is our first time hanging out? Yeah, we just kicking it. Is she acting like, okay. You violated and you have failed. You have failed. So yeah. Have y'all had sex before then? Or this, we ain't is, even this, this, this is our first like, time we kicking it? Fuck, and I wanted to so bad. Uh, so she fucked it up. Uh, she fucked it so up. So she missed out on the dick. She missed out on the dick. She, okay. She missed out on the dick. Yeah, she wilder. Every itch. Every inch of it. For us ladies, I understand that you already know that your meal is paid for, but they are they are watching you when you order. Now mm. go to the entree side, like don't be cheap now, but don't be overzealous with the with the ordering. Don't order anything you wouldn't order with your girlfriends. That's what I would say. Like Facts. that they're, they're you think they're not checking for that, but it's like an X. It's like a it's like a if you like him. Anyway, if you don't, put the king crab Man, on Man, first top. of all, if you got some common sense, you're not finna order everything off the menu. Like, I don't, unless you just know he got it like that. But even if he got it like that, I feel like it's a certain level of respect or a certain level of get to know that you should feel comfortable with. Okay, I can order whatever I want. If you try to make a good impression, order an entree, order some. What, what, what can we do? What's good for you? You gotta get the fish filet. And to be honest with you, <laughs> You can't get the steak. You can't go straight for it. Right. Unless it takes you to a right. steak house, you cannot just go for the Unless it's an anniversary, shit like that. For me, I have 
high expectations for a first date because I feel like that's when you first like get to know each other and I get to see like a presentation of yourself and right. that's gonna be like the first one obviously it's gonna be like you're gonna put your best your best foot forward mm -hmm. but I just feel like that's like a good way to like see if there's a connection there and yeah. I don't me and my boyfriend, we got together after our first date, but I used to think you need at least like three to four days. A couple days. days. Yeah. yeah. But I guess I'm a hypocrite. Yeah. I, I said yes. I mean, I think it just goes off of like how you feel in that moment. Cause okay. you know, time isn't like everything. So. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah. So, I mean, you like for your dude, like, yeah. you know, you liked him day one. Yeah. You know, sometimes it takes a little bit more to kind of get to feel that person. Cause a lot of guys on the first date, they'll give you the impression that they think that you want of them and not really showing oh, their shoes. So for sure. So yeah, that's why I like I like to talk a little bit less. I like them to do the talking because I don't want them to like be like oh so what do you like in a man so they could like hear what I want yeah and then they could just be that. Yeah. I want to see who you are. Right. I feel very <laughs> uncomfortable when guys spend a whole bunch of money on me out the gate. It makes me completely uncomfortable. You don't know me who I spend. Because usually I feel like when a guy spends a lot of money on a first date, they're expecting something to happen. Not necessarily sexually, but that is usually the case. Um, it's like, I put all this time and this money into you. I should get something in return. That kind of shows me your character and then it wouldn't help me come back for a second date because, ew. If we go on the fucking first date, please do not unpack all your motherfucking baggage on me on your first date about your past trauma, oh, about all the shit you done been through in your life. I don't want to hear that shit. We out eating pizza, take a tequila shot. You talking about what the fuck this nigga did back then, but your, I don't want to hear none of that what's shit. What's the bro. worst? What's the worst one? On the first date, what's the worst? The baggage that they unloaded on you and, and laid it all on the table. What's the worst? Because I done had a girl cry during sex. What? That was weird. That's some movie shit. That was weird. She cried? She was cried. it hurting her or was she like emotionally it, fucked up? I guess she was fucked up because I'm laying there and she riding. So she was on top. And then she just. <laughs> Did you ask her why the fuck she was crying? Nigga, no. We just didn't talk after that. You just proceeded to bust your nut. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, crying during sex, nigga. Yeah, that's I ain't never talked to her again. That's some shit. McKellar. Wow. I remember you. <laughs> I remember she married. McKellar, I hope you're not watching this. Or your husband. You married. That's crazy. She cried, bro. First of all, on the first date, uh, I'm, you, you're not going to top no top notch restaurant unless. Uh, unless I've already, if, if, I, if I have it like that, if I got it like that, if I'm able to take you to wherever I want first day, I'm really, really trying to impress, mm -hmm. then yeah. But majority time mm -hmm. though, what is your first date though? Our first date might not even be going out to eat. Uh, Our then, first date might be going to, you know, the zoo or something. The that, zoo? I'm, I'm just saying, like, I'm just, I'm just giving you an example. Like, mm -hmm. it might be, I might, I might have seen something that you into and like, okay, let's go to this exhibit or let's go to, Let's go to the, let's go look at this painting or let's go, you know what I'm saying? It might not be out to eat. I also I also don't feel like first dates don't have to be food involved. Okay. First dates, okay, what are some do's and don'ts on first dates? Mm. Don't be late. <laughs> um, don't come up tacky. Like you gotta be on point. Mm -hmm. Um what else are some don'ts? For me, I think you need to be prepared. So I feel like Reservations should be there. I feel like you should, we should talk about if you're gonna pick me up or not. You right, know, communication. Uh, communication. Mm -hmm. I, you know, you don't have to like do anything elaborate, like bring flowers or anything, that'd be nice. But just be polite, you know, be a gentleman. Show me that you are a man of a certain caliber that is someone, you know, that is worth dealing with. Yeah. yeah. I guess it just depends on, like I said, your vibe with the person, cause yeah. shit, they's expensive. That shit ain't cheap. So. Well, no, like, okay, I will, <laughs> I will say it could, be, but it uh, could be though. Like for me, the perfect first date is taking me out for coffee. Before we go on that first date, I'm going to talk about how much I love coffee a lot. Especially if you're following me on social media, you will see that I love coffee, and I say that it is is my spirit animal. So if you're paying attention, and your first date is right. Hey, I would like to take you out for some coffee. Right. One, I'm gonna be impressed by the fact that she paid attention to what I've been saying, 
And then two, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, coffee, yes. This your first date, right? So the first date, you really want to be more of a vibe. You want to be more energy based, more vibe based, more we having fun, we just kicking it. I'm not trying to go that deep, like on the first date, but you start talking about your past life and your parents getting divorced and you got them this and that and you just moved to a new city so you got them struggling and you hurt and broke and all this shit. I'm like, I don't want to have that shit right now. We can get to that later. Like, she ain't asking for help or nothing like that. She, subliminally. Mm. Basically. They want to be saved. Indubitably. Yeah. Don't <laughs> save her. You don't want to. That's basically what's going on. But I know, basically, don't unpack your bags on the first date. Um, first date's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be just energy yeah. vibes. You know what I'm saying? Getting to know somebody, but not getting to know somebody on such a deep level. Yeah. Not the first date. Yeah, Wait a few that. times. Wait till you feel really feel them out. Then you can start feeling like, okay, maybe I can talk to him a little bit more about some shit. But the first date, nah, let's have a little fun. Let's take some TV shots. Let's go fuck. Like, if you want to impress, do something different. I feel like everybody probably going for food, mm -hmm. especially in your younger 20s or... If you don't have it like that, you trying the first thing I feel like if I can get her close to me, just, just go get some food, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I feel like if you want to stand out on your first date, you can do stuff like zip line or skydiving. But I feel like in order to even be able to do stuff like that, you need to be already studying her and seeing what she's what she's you know, what she's into, what she likes. If you do that, you can learn what so you something stop, outside. So you have to suck her on the gram now. No, period. First, I'm definitely stopping you. I done probably uh, <laughs> been knowing you about six months oh Instagram my while before you go on our first date. Oh, wow. So your yeah. first date is not essentially a first date. It's not it a is a, It is date. a first date. Because I'm still trying to get to know her, you. You know, how, you know, the first date It makes it easy, like, you don't think? You don't think that's smart? <sighs> to me, it makes it awkward. When you know too much about the person before your first date, you're not you're not technically supposed to know these but things. But that can that can go either way. I can still follow you, but I still know shit about you. I know what you what, I know what you post. I know what you're willing to give to the world, but I don't know you personally. Right. I don't know your you know what I'm saying. But if she has two kids, you know that. I know if that. She has, yeah. You know. That means you can't lie to me. You can't tell me. You can't tell me <laughs> anything because I know. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can't bullshit me. You got you got to come correct to a degree. Do not. <laughs> Try to make a move on me. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you might just want that one time. Let's see. No. <laughs> like, I'm just kidding. Like, if this is if this is something that is like purely physical, then for me, it's, I, I would even consider a date. And, we, and both parties right. should know okay, that. Okay, right. So we talk, We are talking about you, right? Yeah. yeah but if it's but if it's a date and you're actually here, your intentions are to get to know me. Right. Even if we're vibing, like it's going to fuck it up for me if you like try to touch me in a weird way or something, or if you like try to kiss me or something. I don't know. Just, so if y'all at the movies or something, like I'm just supposed to sit, like. No, okay, okay, so I have a story. <laughs> I was like searching my brain for some stories. Okay, so went on a date, first date with a dude, went to the drive-in. I like just set my elbow up on the armor or the, you know, the middle yeah. console. Right. And like, he did, he took that and made it a cute moment and just like put his hand through my hands. And I was like, oh, I didn't put my hand there for him to hold it, but I found that like, you know, enduring, so that was, that was cute. I was like, oh, I'm well, holding physical my hand. connection. Yeah, so like, hold my hand. Show me that you're present, but don't try to like put your hand other places. So that was dudes and dudes. Yeah, so that was a dude and a <laughs> <laughs> um, Don't be too chatty. I don't like guys that just talk the whole really? time about they sell. You don't? Just, no. I like, that, that means like you, you kind of too. Like into yourself? Maybe. Like maybe just don't be too chatty about yourself. Okay, for sure. Basically. Yeah. But also, I guess don't be too chatty at all either because it's like, where do I talk? You know? I think But so. I guess that's your opposite. Like, no, I think they do that because like they're afraid for the date to be boring. So like they want to like lead the conversation. So like it's never like a dull moment. But I see what you're saying because like it, we're supposed to be getting to, to know one another, yeah. not just you. So, yeah. But I, I feel like if you chat him too much, then mm -hmm. I'm bored. Because really? like now I'm like, my mind went on oh, something okay. else. I'm like, why are you talking so much? Why this? Why that? You know, like I think it should be a conversation. It shouldn't oh, yeah. just be so much like you talking the most or I'm Talking about. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. I personally like this. Be being real. I like my first dates to feel like, um, like we just hanging out, like really, like on some friendship. Like, if we can go to a social setting where it's not so intimate. First date, I don't want it to be as intimate. Like you know, typical dinner, movie tip. 
I like to go out like to where it be like a. Uh, you know, I fuck with the art galleries and shit. Yeah, like that, for you know sure. Shout out my nigga BMX BC, he's an artist. But like, I go to an art show or something like that, so we could talk and kick it and still mingle with other people. I can see how you mingle with other people. You can see how I mingle with other people. But it's not so intimate, like we locked in. Yeah. But yeah, like, cause a lot of these first dates, man, I don't know. Y'all be too. Con There's magic in first dates when you don't know them. I love going on a first date with somebody that I don't know. You love going on blind first dates. The way you talk. No, not blind first dates. You met me somewhere. You approached yeah. me. Yeah. We got each other's number, and then you tell me what we're about to do. But if I find you a picture of you on Instagram, or I might, I might went to school with the girl that you hang out with. Mm -hmm. She done tagged you in the picture, and so I done followed you. Now I'm, I'm, I'm liking you. You know, I'm looking at you. I might even follow you. I might not even like you. I might just scope you out for a couple months. See what you went to. A then couple of months. Ready. That's assuming you got a couple of months. In a couple of months, I got I mean, a man now. I might got some shit going on though. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's like you gotta get to it. That's the etiquette. <laughs> get to it. <If> you... <laughs> Make a move. I guess my thing is just, I guess, be open-minded first date because you mm -hmm. are getting to know that person. So what you may have seen in the club or who approached you wherever may not mm -hmm. be. Who you sit across from, so yeah. I just learned it. Like just me <laughs> approaching women, like it just feel like a different motherfucker. Like, all right. So, but if I am getting to know this person, then I just gotta, you know. But and try not to be judgmental too. Right. In case any type of conversation comes up, especially if it's something that is a little bit more personal, don't like take it like. Uh, end all be all like oh no I can't do yeah. this person now because they told me this thing but I don't know I mean dudes for me definitely can touch me you know <laughs> that little physical connection <laughs> never touch me. About, you know now see that's the thing though <laughs> if there is going to be something physical happening on the first date I, mean, I would rather initiate it <laughs> because men are gross and so <laughs> Okay, uh, if you, you can't stalk nobody for months before you decide to just take them out to eat yeah. and ask them the questions, and it's different when you're texting. I, that's why I don't like texting a lot before my dates. Like, if mm. you know, because it's mm. your homegirl chiming in. What should I say to this? How long should I wait to text back? No, first date is talking. We're talking. Right. I'm here. I'm here, and this is your real emotion about it. Like, this is how you come off, and it's not curated. And I feel like. Media. Well, it's going to be curated. If, 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 if you feel like it's worth something, to a degree, you're going to think about that. You're going to think about the, the certain questions that you asked, or mm -hmm. if I should do this, if I should wear that. You're going to, it's, oh, it's yeah. going to, on both sides, though. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's girls be, like getting dressed up. We like getting, we like having a reason. You're going to ask your homegirl or your homeboy about what we still got to take her there, or should I, should I do this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Should yeah, I, you know, that first date. I think that's why I like them so much. Everybody's on their best behavior on first dates. Like, Everyone's bringing their best self to the table, and it's just it, it should be mm. a lot of fun. Basically, if this is your first date, this is your first impression, right? This is both our first impressions, so you need to come well groomed. Hair need to be lit, skin need to be glowing, you need to be smelling like the shit. You hear what I'm saying? You need to be looking like it. You feel me? You need to have that shit on. <laughs> <laughs> no kizzy. I'm just saying, like, after that, you build a problem, I ain't gonna slip, so pull up. Pull up to the party looking like it. And that does my shit. What you think? Okay, so what are some dudes that we like? Girl. Do dress nice. Yeah. And I'll do. What I did. For me, I just like, you know, effort. So like I said, the reservations, I like, you know, you saying, hey, like I'm looking forward to getting for seeing you tonight, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to be seven o'clock, we're about to see each other at eight, I haven't heard from you all day. Oh, okay, yeah, That's I don't like weird. that. Like, because now I'm like, wait, are we still going? <laughs> I really won't go if you don't text me. I'll be like, okay, well I guess, you know, you forgot, you know, because yeah. it's like, you asked me out. So right. why are you not coming to me to like, Mm -hmm. You know, definitely some other dudes hold my door, get my door, oh, yeah, open up my sure. door. I need all of that. Okay, smell good. Yeah. You gotta smell good. Okay, especially on the first time. Yeah. I'm smelling you for the first time. Okay, yeah, you gotta smell good. You feel like it's more genuine though. The what first like date. I feel like the first date. I feel like we both kind of like we, we're we're trying to show our best our best version of ourselves. But I don't think it's like. You, it's, it's not more realistic than like you going on a fourth date though.
To a degree. I feel, like we, date, I feel like boyfriend. we both putting on on our first date. If we on the fourth date, you my boyfriend. <sighs> I don't know about that one. What do you mean? What we <laughs> just cause we go on four days, that don't mean oh, nothing. Please. But no four days could be anything. I can go with you, I can go out with you four days in, in two weeks. Yeah. Really? I mean I've been on two dates in one night. You know what I mean? But you're talking now, about two different people. The third one, you're my boyfriend now. Like <laughs> what are you doing? Why person? do you keep calling me? Same yes. Person. Exactly. Okay. Like I went on a date. Yeah. He dropped me off, and then as soon as he left, he called. He was like, I know I'm not supposed to call for a few days, but do you want to go to dinner tonight? It was a lunch date. Mm. Next day, dinner date, mm. that same night, the next day, I moved in. See, let me tell you, though, fellas, this is how you know, this how, this how you know if your first date is going very, very well. If you're going on multiple different places with her, mm -hmm. that's say, man, since you hit the room, you asked for just one date. Y'all could be going to get ice cream. That's all you thought. It was going to be ice cream. Y'all go get stuff away. But if y'all start ending up at a hookah lounge, now after that, y'all end up at a damn art museum or at a random block party that somebody texted you about a couple days ago you just thought about it and she wanted to go with you then I feel like your first date is, is going on it's, it's going very very well or it could be going very bad ladies a lot of times they take you a lot of places to get you drunk okay but so you agree to go on these places yeah, though but, so that okay, don't mean but that's but making you're me already vibing and rolling and then we go to the next spot that's another reset on how many drinks right. I have at that spot then right. we go but to as the long next as you spot. continue to go because I don't feel like women are going to waste their time I don't think they're going to go places that they don't want to go Honestly, especially on the first day, no, you don't you owe me shit. Drinking, but once you've been drinking Still, and you're on gone. the vibe, all, yeah, no, of course, of drunk course. or not. If you go on three days to do it in one day, you're feeling him to a degree. It's not like a. You're still trying to figure it out. Yeah, you don't figure sure. it out. For you, sure, because you, know. you would have called your homegirl to tell you to call right. you with an emergency. So, so if you go on on three, four days in one day. She, she 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 think you a little different from the rest. I'm just, yeah, just putting it up. And we like that. We like that. What kind, of, what kind of expectations do you have for the person you're going on a date with? And then what I'm gonna let you go first. You give yourself? For me, if we on the first date, it's probably not my first impression of you, honestly. Cause I probably just scoped you out a couple times. Cause I don't really fuck with the date shit. But even if you look at Instagram, this your first impression? No, 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 no. Is y'all kicking it in person? Like you, if you, if you stalk her page like you always do. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. <laughs> All right, so if it's the first date, in my mind, yeah, I stalked your page a little bit. <laughs> but in my mind. If you're on a date with this nigga, he already stalked your my shit. My only expectation is for your energy to be good or feel good because at the end of the day, I don't want to be around. So what if a wig, what if a wig to the side? I don't even fuck What if it like T.I. hat? I don't even fuck with that. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. What if she pull up with the wig like on, on tilt? I don't fuck with nothing. Exactly. Like but you just said you look for energy. Yeah, but I don't fuck with that. What if she got good energy but the wig on tilt? Because you know the internet is weird now, so I'm gonna get I'm fucking slandered. Exactly. Saying I don't fuck with no, nah, fuck the you know, internet. Women with the no, nah, keep it real with yourself, nigga. Say it with your chest. With, I don't fuck with no lace fronts. Like, exactly. None of that. But shit. Then, okay, look. If you shit poking, if I can see your shit, you know how Instagram is, though, right? You don't stalk her page. She look good in every picture. Yeah. Y'all say you say meet me at Spin for some pizza hookah. She pull up with the wig on tilt. What you, <laughs> what you doing, nigga? Oh, oh my bad. I thought you was somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. I thought you somebody else. I'm not, abort, <laughs> abort, 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 abort. Oh, fucking dead. Abort. Abort mission. Abort mission. Nah, man. I think come with an intention. Hmm, yes. Maybe be intentional as, okay, we're going to start small. We're going to, I don't know. Like, how to where are we it. going? Like, yeah. Don't just, like, we're not just chilling. Are we like, going on this date because you see me more kind of, like, as you want to take baby steps? Mm -hmm. Or you want to go full throttle? Yeah. Or, you know, like... What are your intentions with it? Is it to have fun? Is yeah. it to be, I don't know. But, but come with some type of intent. I, I agree, like. but a lot of men aren't gonna do that because sometimes they just well, wanna go in, you know, to smash. Yeah, just to see. So, uh, yeah. Oh, the smash? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, so that. So you gotta be careful about that. But. I know, but I kinda have like a smash radar. I could tell if a guy is like just wanting to, then we not even going on a date. Okay, good, good. <laughs> yeah. I but mean, yeah, sometimes no. it's slick with it, but it's good if you like, Yeah, yeah. that's true. Some men do play their role. Y'all think y'all sneaky and slick, but y'all not, because I already know. So, yeah. Conversate. It's not a word, but I have <laughs> converse. conversation. Converse. Yeah, it's communicate. Even if you ain't got shit to talk about, like I said, pull some shit up on your phone. We in a new age. Like, mm. show them some shit you showed your own girl. Yes. Something just anything. Or if you want to ask questions, ask questions. Like, most niggas ain't going to you know tell you too much shit, but <laughs> just being a hundred. But 
I like, shit, you ask questions, you get get answers, my nigga. Like, you feel me? So, I mean, for me, don't pry though. That's a don't. Don't pry. Like, nigga, yeah. Some shit ain't yeah. Like, I don't talk about that. You know, leave it as it is. Yes. Know? For me, do not show up as your representative. Please don't. I don't want to date that guy. I want to date you. So if you crazy, please show me that on the first day. I want to know. <laughs> I want to know how dumb you are. I want to know how crazy you are. I want to know how smart you are. Possibly if you are. So like, cause this is the thing. I feel like it's unfair to me for you to show up as your representative and then I meet the real you later on down the line. Like, nah, show me that the first time we you might sit down. on the second date though. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. I don't want that. I need to know who you are because I don't want to even waste my time on a second date with you. So please show me. Show. My number one expectation is that you don't have any expectations. So oh. don't think that because you took me out, I don't know. I, maybe I did get the king crab on the steak, but I still don't owe you anything. Like I don't want you to. I don't want you to think I owe you because of that. If you expect that, and I feel that you expect that because of whatever we did on this yeah. date, then then that's a big turn off for me. I don't. I, I I need you to know that this is still neutral. Man, expectation. I feel like that's something that you can never. Um... You can never take away. I feel like I can say I don't have expectations for this, but I am looking to, I'm looking for something to let me know whether or not we're going to end up on this third date. It might not necessarily be sex that first night. It might not necessarily be the conversation that we have, but it's something that I'm looking for in that first date to let me know that, you know, it could go somewhere. I so, think that's the expectation. I was if that just makes about sense. to ask you that. I was going to say. Like, I'm looking for something. Like, it could be a conversation we have. It could be, it could be a common interest. Mm -hmm. It could be how you talk, you know what I'm saying? Or something that, that, that sparked my mind or that got me thinking. Like, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't do none of that uh, quick first day. If you're taking me on a date, I need reservations. I Ooh. need dim lighting. I need. I'm on the right side of the you're menu. Different. I want to see, wanna, I, I wanna see so you what feel life like, would be like with so you. So you feel like guys that take you to get, like I said, frappes or like ice cream or some, something like, it might not be an hour, it could be 20 minutes. But he's taking, do you feel like, because to me I feel like by doing that, it's, it, 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 it kind of does make you stand out because it doesn't mean that you, it's not a typical, it's not the out to eat, let's get drunk, let's I go mean, home afterwards. I don't want to Ice cream. It I might mean, not be ice cream, but I'm okay, just saying okay. like just something that's quick. You know what I'm saying? Something quick. Coffee. coffee. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Let's go get coffee. You know, whatever, whatever. Like okay. you feel like I mean, that is a before it, it would be a hell no. But now, now that I okay. So another thing that I want to say about dating, dating wastes a lot of time. So I would say, do not go on a date with somebody you're not feeling. Don't be. What do they call it? A food whore? It's not a food whore. It's like a food. Food, food dater, dater, food, you oh, know, food like. Food dater. Women don't want food daters and men. Yeah, don't do that because you're really, it's not the time that you spend getting ready, getting there, and um, all the time invested in entertaining him and then getting home. Dates are like five hours when you think about the, the whole thing that goes into it. Five hours is not worth a $60 it's, plate. If it's going five hours, it's going good. Yeah, but I'm talking, no, really not the good. date being five hours. I'm talking about how you got to get ready. Oh, you got to yeah, do ready. all the that. Prep to the, day. the prep and then the breakdown. And then the, I got to go and oh, oh I, yeah, I, I have you. an early day. Yeah, and all, it's not worth, it's not worth all of that. Uh, let's talk about uh, <laughs> who, who came on the first day. Listen, I'm a real nigga. We're going Dutch. Nah, nah, fuck that. <laughs> Just I'm a real nigga. Who day. should pay on the first date is the, the man. guy, straight up. Why is that a question? Yeah. Ain't no female around me paying for nothing, period. Even if we not dating. If you're a female and you're around me, you're not paying for shit. Where you going, bro? I'm playing. Come on, man. Real, <laughs> real nigga energy. Big, listen, this is big, big energy right here. Oh. Big. You, you can step to the side again. Damn. Damn. Now, once I feel like, okay, when it comes to money with guys, I feel like the first date, one, two, three, maybe it should be the guy. But until we establish, like, okay, maybe we're mutually exclusive or is this a friend thing, then I feel like it goes either or. Like, maybe she'll pay or it's half. But the first date, first couple dates, definitely the guy. Yes, because you got to set the tone. Like, you yes. are my dude. Right. Or will be. Maybe, possibly, but you have to set the tone. I have to know what you're coming with. So, right. yeah. No, I agree. And now, Fredo, 
I fuck with a female, I'm on a date, I'm not on a date, whatever's going on. If you with me, you're not gonna pay for shit. I'm not, I'm just a real nigga and I was raised, I'm a, I was raised that way, so. At least offer though, at least offer. You ain't gotta offer, but if we go on a second date. At least offer. Uh, I'm gonna pay for it, but offer. Act like you, at least act like you reaching for your shit. So I know that, that's dope too though, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? That's just, no, that's just like reassurance that she's a dope person. If you, you know you're gonna pay already, but she be yeah, like. I'm gonna pay. She can fake like, you want me? Nah, bitch, put your shit up. I, that's fire. That's very fire of you. Yeah. You're gonna get some good dick tonight. So. <laughs> I appreciate your offerings. Thank you for your time. Nah, but it's dope if you at least just be considerate. You were saying like if they're friends. I don't think men and women can be friends to be honest. No. 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 But um. You yeah. don't think so? No, we can talk about that later. But um, okay. The, yeah. No. <laughs> should always pay in my opinion if you guys are in a relationship that's different you know if she wants to take her man on a nice day you know that's that's completely different but during the courting stage he like you said he needs to yeah. set the tone he's the man you know he's mm -hmm. courting you he's trying to make you his girlfriend I agree with so that. If he wants to be the leader then he needs to show that he he's able to lead yeah. and you know take initiative whoever asks the other person out that's the person who should pay but a woman's not gonna ask a man out though. why not I do but not like how likely are you walking up to whatever man you want? Like, so you want to go out Saturday? I don't know. I'm just saying. Like, I'm talking for them. We're talking to the general public. I, okay, we're talking to the general you, public, but I'm saying there are women like me in okay. the world who will ask a man out and hey. It don't have to be on the first date, right? Because as a man, I'm already do that, right? <laughs> so what I'm saying is, if we go out several times. Like on, at least by the third date, you should be like trying to pull out your wallet. Like, yo, you want some help? Are you? I got this one. This it's on. You always treat me. I got you this time. That'd be dope. I'm still not gonna let you pay, but for you to just even offer that shit would be fucking dope. I'll be okay. She fine. She fine for that. Hey, bro, this the goat. I'm this the goat right there. Die. What classifies as a date? What is a date? Who is a date? What classifies a date? What is a date? What is a date? I think a date classifies as uh, a guy paying. Honestly, if he's paying, maybe no. he's going on a date. No. I don't think, I don't, I, women don't want to pay. Not a date if a woman pays? It's a date. Not on the first date. You, you call that a date. I would never pay well, on the first date. if a woman date. is asking you out on the first date? If a woman is asking me out on the first date, I'm still paying. The she don't know it. By time, he by time, by time let she, you pay. By the time she not. start thinking about how much this cost is already paid for. You have period. to pay. I feel like that if you're trying to make a good first impression, if you not, if you don't really give a damn about the first impression, then she, she can pay for whatever. This, this is how I feel. Men know how to spend money on things they like. Cars, you want the belt, you want whatever it is. Men, they the put their money where their attention goes. <laughs> The belt. <laughs> the belt. <laughs> they they put their money where their attention goes. You know, clothes, whatever it is, men know quality goes with the money. Okay, and they put their money behind it. So don't try to get cheap when it comes to me. If you think that I'm quality too, you know what I mean. No, that's fact. that's that's how. I feel. I know. I'm gonna tell you, let me tell you something from a male perspective though. I'm really looking for who who is really down. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Like, do it gotta be expensive for you to hang out with me, or can we just go get a Waffle House and, and our conversation yeah, can take place? On our fifth date, when you my boyfriend, we going to get Waffle House. Nah, but I'm trying to see no, that before no, we no, no, even no. together. Mm -mm. I'm trying to see that. I'm trying to see, can I, because I, I want to see if we can do both. Like, I, not necessarily you we can't can. do the expensive shit, but I need to know if you're going to be down for both, or you only got to be with me to be down for both. No, no, no. Okay, so I'm not saying that the first date needs to be expensive. Right. All I'm saying is the effort needs to be there and you just need to be different bro first date so that's what so okay it's applying pressure your first date should be pure applying pressure if you're expecting a nice time give him give his eyes a nice time like you have to come ready and giving him what he's paying for like get your nails done do your hair smell good like Put your phone up. Like you have to, you have to be on for that. Like you can't just, oh, you know, yeah. whatever. Da, da, da. Like you have to be very engaged. That's why I would say yeah. on a first date, the etiquette for a woman: be engaged, listen, ask questions about him. Like 
be into him because don't make it about you. Yeah, don't, don't make it all about you. Excuse me. I'm gonna yeah. say about don't make it all about you. And that, don't ever reveal yeah. everything on the first day. He gonna ask you a million and one questions. It's gonna be 21 questions about all kind of personal stuff. Don't reveal everything on the first day. But I will say keep that same energy. And when I say by that is if he kicking you with a certain level of energy, try to match it. Yeah. Because I feel like that will enhance the conversation. That will enhance the first date. If you, if, 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 if I'm a guy and I'm asking all the questions and the only time you saying something is you ask, answering the question that I'm asking. No, she's supposed to ask too. Right, no, you yeah. gotta be engaged. Like, you yeah. making it one-sided. Like, yeah. you know, don't make it one-sided. Like, give him a chance. Like, don't, don't just, you know, waste, waste your time. And be genuinely interested. Like, be genuinely, like, actively listen. That's what I would say for both parties, the etiquette. Facts. Actively listen so that you can respond in a way that the person knows that you care about what they just said. Facts. Yeah, because there's a lot of, you know. Talk to listen. Talk yeah. to listen. It's yeah. embarrassing. If no, it's not, not, I mean, not to me, but some men feel like, like, oh, it's actually, like, you taking it away from them to, you know, actually show you that dominance, I guess, but. Uh, I want to say dominance. That, that, like I said, that, that willingness to support what you're trying to do or what we're trying to do. But for me, like, like I said, if she have you slice the pie, we gonna eat. Like, just yeah. don't cut me out. What is your thoughts on how people feel about dating in Atlanta? My thoughts oh. on dating in Atlanta. Well, I'm from Atlanta, so my perspective on dating in Atlanta is trash. But people always talk about dating in Atlanta and all this. Oh. Bro, I don't, I don't agree with that because. Atlanta's a melting pot with, with people from everywhere, right? So you meet True. different types of people. True. People always try to slander Atlanta with dating and shit, but it really like, you just a thought yourself anyway, like. Yeah, you get what you, you, you are what you are. You're a thought, bro. If you, if you fucking go on the motherfucking. Hookah spots. All, if that no is. Offense, no offense, no offense. No, real shit. If that's all you doing, what the fuck do you expect? Or if you're at the strip club every night, you end up with a stripper. What you expect, my nigga? She expecting the bag. Motherfucker go to the, the club. Time. That's you. My nigga, y'all gotta stop looking for love in the club. First of all, that's what y'all fucking up at. I feel like the men, really? yes, oh my God. I feel like the men are more so focused on their image and trying to impress their homeboys. Not all men, but most yeah. men. It's about an image here, so I feel like dating in Atlanta doesn't prosper because most people. And then on top of that, it's so many beautiful women here, yeah, yeah. and that has nothing to do with like insecurity for like other women. It's just it's temptation everywhere. You know, so I just feel like dating for Atlanta is enough for me, so. Um, I've had a great experience dating in Atlanta. When I was single, um, I didn't really have that issue. I met some amazing men that taught me so many things, like taught me things about investing, about certain books to read. So for me, I had a great experience. I just think, and it's not anything like for you, but like yeah. it's important who you allow to be around. So if he seems like he's like, I don't know, maybe he's a club promoter, of course it's gonna be about his image. Right. Maybe don't go on a date with him. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you study this man and you're like, okay, he has this going for himself, you know, he's saying that he wants a relationship, let me go give him a chance. Okay. It's different, man. Everybody got an agenda. Everybody's trying to look for a come up in some type of way. Um, I feel like that does hurt us in relationships, especially uh, for the younger cats that's coming up. They watching how, how Jada is making a million dollars at 24. You know what I'm saying? They look they look at different shit like that, so they want that. You know what I'm saying? They see little baby, they see the relationship, they see all that. So they look, but they, they want that. It's relationship goals to them. So in order to do that, it's certain things that I'm not gonna tolerate at a young age, which I feel like is not realistic. And because we see that at a young age, you feel like you can obtain it, or because you live in Atlanta, you're hearing we got the popular state, all the you know rappers and shit here, and it's so the, the film industry here is a lot of shit going on. So you feel like shit, why not me? And I agree with that to a degree, but I also feel like you gotta have real expectations. And a lot of this shit really gonna humble you. You really, you really gonna think you can do this in a third, but real life is gonna humble you. So I feel like when it comes to dating, I feel like you just gotta be more realistic in Atlanta. Um, Know what you can afford, fellas. Know what you can afford. If you, if you know you can't do X, Y, and Z, don't go after X, Y, and Z. It just it is what it is. You can find you a, a baddie that's still on the east side that probably only making about sixty thousand a year and, and really looking for a husband and for kids and trying to take her places. And you just you know what I'm saying. So you just got you got to be realistic with your with your goals. But I feel like women they didn't do the same. I feel like they have to be more realistic too because they're more unrealistic than men. Where do you feel like you look for love? 
Me? Yeah. Where are you looking for love at? I'm a different nigga. I look for love in an airplane while I'm jumping out that bitch. That's true. He does skydive, ladies. I'm going to look for love at the fucking plant shop. That's true. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to look for love at Sam Flax. Sam Flax is an art store, yeah. by the way. I'm, look, I'm looking for love at the uh, art show, the art gallery. Yeah, like, I mean, I go out and kick it at these clubs and hookah lodges, too. Don't get me wrong, but I ain't like, if I meet a chick, I'm not expecting her to be the one because yeah. this is Atlanta. So all them chicks, were, and it's, that's, that's, that's the same type of circle. Yeah. That, they doing the same shit. It's like high school. Everybody fucking everybody. It's just a whole circle of that shit going on. So if you want different, you got to step outside that shit and do some yeah. different shit. That's fact. You feel what I'm saying? Bro, that is real shit. Dead ass. I be telling these chicks all the time. They be like, niggas ain't shit. No, the niggas, you fuck with ain't shit. Because you going to the same hookah lounge every Friday night expecting some different shit. Bitch. Step outside the box. And you might get your box eight. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dating in Atlanta is like... Musical chairs. It's like, it's like a buffet. Yeah. If you really don't want is. this, uh, put it back. You in other saying? cities that don't have so many versions of what you want, you find something you like and you stick to it. And right. you might date her for 10 dates. But right. here, it's like, you miss one, the next one's coming. You know, you really have to yeah. form, you have to consciously form a bond with somebody because there's so many options. And you can go on, I mean, guys can go on dates seven nights a week, girls can go on dates. I mean, I've been on two yeah. or three dates in one day. Like, right. I've done all that. So yeah. it's like, when, when it's like interchanging so much, you have to stop and and consciously decide that you're gonna see this person again because you really don't have to because there's really so many options. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I would just say dating in Atlanta is infinite options. Moving to Atlanta, if you're not from here, you move to Atlanta, you definitely got to adjust. There's a lot of things that you used to be used to that that shit don't fly here. You just, you just, it is what it is. Fellas on the same on the same page. Like, well, one thing I can say about Atlanta though. On the dating scene, there's so many things to do here. Like, if you do want to go the, you know, white tablecloth route, there's plenty of restaurants for that. If you do want to do the more active thing, I mean, there's like a lane for every type of, like, personality type right. that there is here. That, and that's one thing I do enjoy about Atlanta. So, yeah. yeah. All right, in conclusion, man. Uh, first date etiquette. Have some common sense. Fix your shit. Fix your wig. Fix your wig. Uh, don't order the fuck the the lobster with the with the uh, sirloin. Uh, disrespectful. Disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Because I might be like, "Oh, we going Dutch," and I don't know her. Um, that's it. Shit. In conclusion, yeah, look for love in the right places instead of the hookah. You said the hookah, right? Hookah spot. Hookah lounge and clubs. Hookah lounge and clubs and the, and the strip clubs. Be yourself. Um. And if you are somebody else, you will be found out later down the line, probably on date number three or four, because Dang. sometimes it's hard to keep up a lie. So you should be yourself from jump all the way through. Have fun. Mm -hmm. um, I would say pretty. that be different too though. It, like I said earlier, it don't always gotta be a, a dinner date. Like, let, like do something different. I feel like all girls are really expecting that or you know, they ask them on, on, you know. It don't have to be dinner. It, 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 could be, it could be lunch though, but it has it to be, be food. Lunch. Uh, well, in her eyes, they gotta be food. Gotta but I'm just saying, though, watch her Instagram page. Why was she, what she into? Like, what things that she like? So how do you, you get her? In, what if you just meet a girl uh -huh. and you get her number? How are you gonna watch her for Bro, six this is months before you decide to it take It don't gotta be six date. months. But what okay. I'm saying is, majority of the time, when I'm first meeting a female, I'm getting her Instagram and I'm getting her number. Sometimes she might get the Instagram before you get the What number. if she doesn't have an Instagram? Do you think if she's she don't weird? got an Instagram, I don't think she's weird, but she's at the back of the list. If I'm being honest. Really? Yeah, because I feel like, man, we in a new age. I, I feel like you can't be low key, but it's something. Like, if you don't have no Instagram at all, no Facebook, nothing, it's something that you hide in, bro. That overall, I mean, just come as a gentleman. Just, you know, be prepared to get to know me. Um, and I feel like first dates are fun and exciting. It shouldn't be so much pressure. Yeah. Just let it flow. And, you know, if we're meant to be together, we will be. If we're not, you know, it's not a big deal. I don't think, yeah. you know, anyone should be upset if it doesn't go well. Right. I feel like with first date etiquette, I feel like come with the purpose, come with the intent. Um, you don't necessarily have to bring your all, but you know, let it be fun, right. engage with her, have conversations. Y'all shouldn't be sitting at the dinner table just like twiddling y'all yeah. thumbs, right. you know? 
So, um, come, be on time. Mm -hmm. Smell good, look good, and have a good time. Be off your phone. Yeah, no phones on the first date. No, because then it's like, why did we come? Are you mm -hmm. interested in me or your phone? Right. Like I said, be open-minded. Be, uh, be a good listener. Uh, yes. Don't be cheap. Uh, you know, you can be cheap. Be thoughtful. Like, like she said, actually pay attention to the person that you're taking out on a date. Because mm -hmm. I feel like if you're trying to date this person, then you want to go the next step. If not, then, you know, most guys know it's chicks, chicken wings and fries. Yeah. Well, sometimes I lie and say I don't have an Instagram. The only reason why is That's, when I first... You're not interested. No, 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 no. You're not telling nobody that you, that you're no, interested No, no, if I'm interested, I'm definitely not giving you my Instagram. Uh -huh. Because I don't want to... You to know that much about me right now. You know what I mean? Like sometimes but, I lie and say I don't have one because I don't need you all in my business and I don't know you. You, I, you know what I want you to know on the date when we're. But eating. if you're trying to impress, it's I don't see how you're impressing her not knowing what she's into. You find that stuff out through conversation. But yeah. what if I want to surprise you though? You'll know through conversation what she wants to be surprised with. Like there's, there's. There was life before. I feel you. Yeah, right. Look, man, at the end of the day, just be yourself. <laughs> study her, like I said. If you can't study stalk her, stalk her. If you can't do it, then you just lost, bro. You just gotta pray, <laughs> pray that she the one. All I say is be pretty, be witty, be funny, yeah. and stand out. Like give, give him what he's expecting. If he's taking time out of his day to take your ass out, that means that he's he make wants, it worth it. Yeah, make it worth it for him right. too. Because you you're gonna make it worth it for you. You're gonna get your selfies, your boomerangs, and all that off. Right. That's cool, but make it worth it for him too. Give you know, let it be a back and forth. Right. That's my thing. In conclusion, God is good. Just bring your best self. Bring your best energy. Come groomed. Just, I mean, just have fun, man. Don't unpack your bags at the first date. We don't don't unpack your bags. Don't be a bag lady. Yeah. Holla at you. Be respectful. <laughs> be respectful to the brother. You know what I'm saying? He works. He works hard for his. You know. I think I'm done. That's it. You That's good? it. We good. We good. I thought she was dating the producer. Uh, nah, nigga, that shit been on with. Look, bro. She go my homie, nigga. Hey, she homie hopping, cause then she uh, fuck with this nigga right here? Yeah. For, for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you know Pharaoh? Damn. That's what you For real? They, he fucked with her before he did.